have a quorum. And we are live. And we are live. Um, thank you for putting the agenda together, Tim. I appreciate that. Everybody has a copy of that. We've got extras, so. I do have the minutes. I really, it's pretty much 98% here, but I didn't finish the last. Do you bit. want to hold them or do you yeah, want to hold them? No, I think, well, you guys look at it and say. <laughs> I didn't vote. I didn't put you down who voted for the meeting. That's uh, about uh, it. Uh, uh, so. Could we write it in? <laughs> sure, you could. I wrong? guess we could. We have that. Let me see if I even have that on my list. What's the date on that meeting? Thir uh, 16th. I have all those notes in my office. Too. Yeah. And I apologize, I should have got this out email because I had it done last week, so. Excuse me. Oh, it's just it's <laughs> busy these days. You get stuff done, it's like, huh, these two days and I have still haven't sent it. <laughs> oh, is Joyce coming tonight? Did you know? I don't know. to approve what we have here. Except for last line, who, who, give me, I a, didn't, I don't give me 15 <laughs> seconds, slow we'll reader, I guess. We'll, we'll have to watch the video. I have those notes in my, I'll add them in. I just didn't put down who made a motion to adjourn and who seconded. That's all. I think that's left on there. So, uh, do I have a motion to approve the minutes of uh, July 16th? So moved. So Second. Moved. Who's taking notes? You know? Yeah, I will do it. Thank you. I'm behind eight already, so. You got it so moved as. Uh, to ten. I just lost it. Who, who, who motioned? Dan. I motioned to Dan. And you second it? I second it. Oh, you second it. Oh, I was way off. You got that. You're not taking it. You're not second. Yeah, any discussion on the It was my notes, though. Let's just fill in. Yeah, fill in the. That's all I'm going to do. When you file. All those in favor of approving? Say aye. Aye. Opposed? Hearing none. We are approved. Thank you, Tim. I appreciate it. I've got to apologize in advance of my throat. I've got a cold that's just going back into my throat. And so it's on, if I sound like Barry White tonight, it's, I'm not trying. That's just my <laughs> amplified voice, I guess. But, uh, anyway, so I'll probably not talk as much as I do normally, but um, don't put those in the minutes. Yeah, every other word. Yeah, every other word. So Only important ones. We don't have a report out, uh, from the select board. I, I, obviously, you all saw the select board meeting at this point. Most of I think all of you were there, except you were not. Yeah, I was not. But I saw you all in the stands. You were on there. You were in there. I was there. Yeah. yeah. He was there last night, too. Same with Right. So let's get into that. But I just want to uh, see if there's any other public comments, anything else from the subcommittees, fire substation, uh, library, public. Senior Center. No, we can do a library. Uh, yeah, why don't you go we ahead. met last night with a small group, uh, probably half of who normally shows up. And we heard about the CPA that you were going, and then the library went. And they were asking for some funding to fund the community room and also the historic uh, room, as well as the uh, children's our, our community garden as 
well outside. So um, we also discussed uh, the water issue that happened out front here. I don't know if Tim knows more about it, but apparently when they dug up the water line to try to connect, they couldn't go where they thought they were going and end up working their way down the line to the hydrant and at the hydrant they found a, a horrendous connection there. So it was recommended by the EPW that they fix it now, which wasn't in the contract. It was So this is going to be an issue for payment later because that wasn't something they were supposed to do. But what do you do? It's there, you're in it, you've got a big hole, it's 15 feet down, you might as well do it. So, so they're tracking a TNM, I saw. Yeah, doing TNM, so. yeah. So that's what happened there. And I then think some so. of the materials were provided by the DPW, so yeah. that well, that was the cost so, of it. Yeah, it's we don't not going to be outrageous. Yeah, yeah. that's the whole should fit in your contingency. Yeah. No. Well, well, they're not. they're talking about where the man, the money might come from someplace else. So yeah. it's it'll be discussed. I guess that ultimately is it really born from the project if it's a, if it's a, ultimately it sounds like a DPW issue more than it is a, that's exactly a, right, right. They, so. they wouldn't have even done anything if they hadn't been digging up that line there so yeah or if they could have connected elsewhere or whatever but by the way that you know we do get these reports from um, all the the uh, entities regarding the uh, construction activities so the weekly reports come out daily actually some of them but are you guys interested in me forwarding those to you, or uh, I'll get in the library here and do it all again, and I get them. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, yeah. I, I haven't seen them. Or, you know, I don't mind getting them. I've been offered them, and I'm like, I'm busy enough to yeah. Do it. Right. yeah. I appreciate that. I, you know, people are taking a look yeah. at them, and I, I would imagine that if anything comes up, that yeah. you know, the members will. You know, everybody, everybody, everybody jumps in. It's, yeah, yeah, it's been interesting, but it's. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's a little distracting if you're uh, yeah. you've got more things to do. You get emails all the time and then you yeah, can't That's a lot of emails. You either stand or you don't. Right. right. Yeah. 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 Any other related uh, um, issues pertaining to municipal building committee or anything they need of us? Nothing or? they need of us right now. I mean, no, well, like I said, it was a small group. We yeah. don't really have enough people to really discuss a lot. And, are, are things you know, on schedule at this point? Well, it's delayed. It's delayed. Yeah. Because of they, mitigation. They're right expecting that. to take that building down mid July, so we're. And it's going to take a little bit more time than yeah. they ex ever expected. They have an issue with the roof assembly and mm -hmm. how the asbestos was actually yeah. installed. Mm -hmm. uh, so, which is one of those things that you wouldn't uh, never expect. <laughs> and then you open everything up and you go, why did they do this? <laughs> and now they're trying to figure out how to deal with it. So it's still in the bait at this point? It's yeah. still, and yeah. it's going to be for a a uh, good couple, maybe three weeks now. Yeah. Wait, they're hoping end of this month. So really, yeah, you're, you're, that's you're gonna, gonna be push it. two months behind already. Hmm? By the time we get done. But it's still, it's fine. I mean, we're not into the bad weather, so everybody feels still comfortable. Hmm. And uh, on another front, the stuff with the Legion, uh, even though they had to hurry up and deal with some of the issues with it. It actually came out extremely well. Uh, they took out the tank. Uh, it looked good. The sewer line was very problematic, and it was deteriorated from where the tank was back into the building. So DPW elected just to change it over because, it, since again, they opened it up, they were there, mm -hmm. and it it took two hours. So they, they just did a short section of it? Yeah, that's the section that went from the building underneath the steps and made the 90 degrees mm -hmm. where the tank was. Just to be clear, which building? Uh, the Legion. Oh, so we replaced so one the Legion the, sewer connection. Well, that was one of the agreements with regard to the litigation okay. issue, mm -hmm. yeah. that they were going to take out the tank. Um, if, if there was an issue with the sewer line and the water line, where they were going to pay, if they would change that over, and luckily that was fine. It was actually the, the one section that went into the building from where the tank was that had to be replaced. And it was it was basically failed at the time. So it was a good thing right. that it was dug up when it was. Uh, and the other agreement is going to be paving the rest of the lot. So okay. uh, dollar-wise, everything's good. Um, The senior center is on schedule, or 
Yes. I mean, I, again, yeah, so there was delay on that so because of us. Yeah, yeah. Unforeseen subsurface. Right. Yes, and and coming up with the asbestos and trying to get make sure it was delayed on figuring out where it was <coughs> going to be, where it was going to go. So that took a little bit longer than they expected. Mm -hmm. This looks like it's still there, though. They haven't moved it back. Yeah, they haven't. But it, they were still able to do the rest of the work. That so they like the paperwork's done, they just need to get the contractor to move in. Yeah, it takes that's uh, <clears throat> that's a lot of yeah. paperwork yeah. to deal with. Because mm -hmm. so. you got to know that you got to not even know where it's going, but they're tracking the entire load, yeah. the weight of it, the, and <clears throat> that's got to be a certified box that goes in the whole nine yards. So everybody's got to sign off on it. I've been through it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dan, but, anything on your end from the senior center team? Uh, no, but there I should have something thorough when we do meet. I've been appointed note taker since Suzanne's leaving. Mm. Um, when we, when our next meeting comes up I'll have something. But uh, yeah. I've heard nothing uh, that nothing out of the ordinary that's going on. Any of the reports that are coming out are gonna be more accurate and thorough than we issued the uh, building permit for the fire substation today. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that's yes. not I saw they did their ENS and the fencing and all that stuff. Yeah, there, um, they, they, they dug it. We gave them permission to dig and be ready for concrete. So mm -hmm. yeah, I heard it's pretty soft and sort of caving in behind them a little bit. But, you know, <laughs> it's sand. What do you expect? Yeah. Make it a little wider. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, that's it for buildings, I think. So yeah, the yeah. library get their permit? Or are they no, no. Still waiting on that? Quite honestly, I haven't even looked at the drawings. Okay. I haven't even opened that package up. But they submit something, or they've submitted a partial. Okay. So, but no, I have not looked at those. They have a demolition permit, then. That's it. They don't have a demolition permit. What they're doing is under a state contract. It's issue issuance. Yeah. Okay. The abatement is it's through state. But yes, that's, I, I got to deal with that shortly, but um, we'll, we'll work on that. Okay. Um, well, so um, we've got the first new item for discussion is the future use of Russell School, discussing the CPA request uh, for a professional review of exterior and what short-term solutions should be performed to minimize the building degradation. And I know our goal was to was to meet with CPA, discuss the options, uh, subsequent to select board discussions, and just to, I think we have a couple of uh, paths to move ahead here, right? In terms of uh, you know funding options, public private partnerships, uh, putting the, putting the building at least into a into a, uh, a manner that you know, extends its life or prolongs its life while we figure out how to, uh, to you know, to afford a, a real project someday. Uh, but tell me what, what happened at the CPA. So I'll, I'll take it up to the CPA and yeah. then the other two yeah. members can Good. join in. So uh, certainly I had lots of discussions throughout since the last time we met with um, David Nixon, select board, and we went to the select board meeting. So what all came out of all this this discussion was, um, and I, I should also stipulate that uh, they had Andy uh, uh, Morris Friedman sat down with me to go over the CPA and what he would like to see, and with some discussion again through he what he had with Slackboard. So what all came out of that was um, that. Maybe it would be good to solicit some CPA funding for um, getting some type of professional report for everybody. So we can present to the selectmen and then uh, present to uh, the residents of uh, some scenarios that we could do with the building. From how much does it cost to do to some type of partnership to some type of um, uh, you know full renovation of the building and what, what could we do with it so uh, through the discussions uh, basically was um, I talked to Larry Tuttle 
would you be willing to uh, help us with that? And what, again, we're looking at several scenarios, maybe talk, have a, some type of public forum. Larry can give some alternatives and pros and cons for everything. Uh, he certainly is willing to do that. Larry is willing to do that. Larry yeah. said he was willing okay. to do that. So we then talked, well, just a ballpark, what do you think that would cost for us? And, and that's over the phone, so he says, I, I can't honestly tell you, but we said if we get 10000 plus we have some money to set aside already for on call. So we felt that that would be okay, and so I put together quickly Friday morning, because it was due on Friday, a CPA application, and I included some repair of the roof because that same time while I was writing that up, yes. When I wrote that up, Gary Burke came over and said he needs to come over and look at um, the Russell School because with all the rains that we had, uh, we've got a serious leak up there against the chimney. So uh, it, it, there is some real damage that has happened in the last few weeks. Mm -hmm. So. Um, we put together the $8,000 figure to deal with that and don't really know precisely what's all causing it. It's probably some flashing, it's probably some missing uh, shingles or um, slate. So that's what I put down, got it into, um, met, met the deadline for Friday. and. Uh, Monday we went to the CPA. So this is eighteen thousand. Ten thousand for Larry for the Oh study. I see. So it combines the architectural yes. services as well as the yes. construction. Mm -hmm. Okay. Got it. So eight for the roof and ten thousand for the study. Okay. So I presented that Monday to the CPA. So did you see Claire's email? Yes. So she was suggesting that maybe possibly get some partial funding through federal or historic. Sounded like because that's what they would fund. Basically, you know, and then if it were renovation, that is. But yeah, I didn't get a chance to look at them. They came like a couple yeah. hours. Yeah, you know, I was trying to scan it myself, so it's just. A it, it sounded like there were some, some examples of a project in Worcester, a few yeah. others maybe that indicated that there's uh, some mass, mass grants or some, some kind of grant funding that's available. But it won't fund the building is what it, doesn't say, what it mm -hmm. sounds like. It's just really yeah. towards getting to that point of the yeah. construction. So yep. it will do the studies, it will do the design. Yeah, I think I'd like Claire to give us a more yeah. comprehensive kind of, you know, summary of what she's found on that front. Mm -hmm. yeah. And she'll probably know more when she speaks with the person. I think she's the yeah, 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 exactly. It looks like they had a little trouble connecting at yeah. first, but yeah. um, so, so last night. So, you know, I, it was mixed reviews. <laughs> Let's put it that way, <laughs> to say the least. But it wasn't no. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, there was some Lively discussion with yeah, regards. Yeah, there was some heated discussion. I mean, um, you know, there were, it seems that uh, immediately went into uh, the, the CPA. Uh, a couple of the members were leery about putting any kind of CPA funds toward uh, a structure that there was an uncertain future. Um, they, they, they wanted to know exactly what's going to happen to that building, and it seemed somewhere under the impression that, you know, it was going to be sold or demolished, and they don't want to put any money into something like that. And and you know, none of us, you know, on this committee or town has made any kind of decision in that. So it just went way off on a tangent. I think that was implied at the select board last yeah. week, and, and that may be the the reason. It was implied that it is an option. It's not implied that that was well, a favor. Right, it's, it's, it's an option. It's but, an option. It's a possibility, sure, but there was right. no decision made on that. And, and that's and, why the select board wanted some 
so yeah. many for it. They want a professional come more. Uh, I, I, and I can see their point on that, and I agree. Oh, with absolutely. That. I mean, it, it, but it's it's little money. We're talking ten thousand dollars put together something, but some of the members thought that we didn't need a professional to do that because just call up associated records and get a price on taking down the building. It's not as easy as that. And that's unfortunate that those type of comments are made. Yeah, I mean, the hooker school being the example, you know, run into this asbestos right. issue here and there. And they just, did a survey. Yeah, it's no. <laughs> and that years. was an extensive survey that cost a lot of money to do. Right, so. And we're still coming up with issues. But you gotta pay for that stuff. So, uh, I, it was a so little discouraging. What was, the, what was the outcome? They're taken under advisement. Well, we, we did stress that the selectmen wanted to know the possibilities, and that's why we're asking for the money for this survey, not just to do another survey or study. Um, there's issues about our parking lot being there, you know, and, and that came up. Yeah, and like. Mm -hmm. That as soon as we put that parking lot in, it's a it's a non-sellable building. And I go, how can that statement be made? That's just an opinion of, of the person that made it, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and it's not. It could very well be fact, but it doesn't. It's not a fact at this point. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was an inappropriate statement because yes. the you know the their their whole reason for that that committee they're charged with community preservation and to me what kind of community preservation is the sale or demolition of a, a, a building on the National Historic Register that's not preservation of any community so right. I mean it was inappropriate in my opinion to, to make that statement and so prematurely you know there was no there's yeah, no plans to sell very that building. difficult to get around that yeah. statement mm -hmm. last night mm -hmm. so I don't know if you guys saw it but Amherst is putting out a proposal right now school building, old school building, just the same thing, but it sounds like they would have ownership of the property and whoever is renovating the building would maybe condoize it or whatever, but at some point. It's a long-term lease. As a long-term lease, a 99-year lease as it is, yeah. but still they're looking for prices right now who wants to turn this into 15 units, affordable units which might be an ideal thing, except for the fact that we don't allow apartments. No, we don't. <laughs> well, and that's got to You know, so that is something that we can work on, but that is a possibility. Mm -hmm. And that would be a good mm -hmm. fit, even mm -hmm. if it's a mixed-use kind of thing. But mm -hmm. I, I think in this location, even if they didn't change the bylaws for apartments, it certainly could be office condos. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Some yeah. kind of deal yeah. like right. that. Um, and Larry, Larry has the the contacts to, to get that type of information on what type of partnerships are permitted to, to have with towns. And I, I think it's going, hopefully something good can come out of it. And that's only if that's the option that the town chooses. Yeah. yeah. The master plan clearly shows the survey that, that shows that the people, the majority of the people want to save that building and keep the building in you know, town ownership. Um, and uh, one of the members of CPA um, sort of challenged that survey and wanted to see, because that was the 2005 master plan I was quoting out of, and he wanted to see the updated survey. And I couldn't produce it right away, but I subsequently produced it. And the line actually is 50-50. Mm. If you count the percentage of who definitely doesn't want to save it to the people who absolutely want to save it, and all the variations in between, it's 50-50 right at the middle. So there's going to be a battle for this building. Yeah. Well, I think the select board meeting brought up a good point, is that we need to go into uh, you know any vote or any decision with uh, some educated options. Absolutely. To, to, and we don't uh, have that. Look at, and if we don't have that, I mean, that's, that's a, a real problem. Yeah. You know, I mean, we can't do, so, we, we can only do so much as a volunteer committee as far as uh, legwork to, to come up with uh, possibilities. So. If they reject us on a 10,000 foot study, then what's the next move? Would the selectmen have to find money somewhere? Or I, does it have to go to town meeting? I, I think that we well, could put it as a one article. We, we'd have to use our project consultant yeah. budget, which would need to be supplemented in the 
fall mm -hmm. because we'd be using it for multiple activities. So let's just bring it as a line item. What's more, the, honestly, the Berkshire design fee could be part of the project consultant money. It doesn't have to all go to Larry, but it's not enough to cover all the projects we have. So even with that possibility of the extra 25000 that David indicated we might have, I think with everything Larry yeah, we're might down to a slightly less than 6000 in Larry's line item. Yeah. And we have, Larry hasn't given us all the bills for... Uh, the public safety complex, nor have we gotten the bill for the uh, painting. So I don't for think what? Sorry. The painting. Painting. And I, I think that it, when we get those, we're not going to have much money left in that line item. So I think we're going to have to supplement that that fall town meeting. Yeah. So we can go forward with. Something. I think so. I mean. Just itemize some of the activities we haven't looked at DPW. There's other. other we need uh, to do that. So we really have to do that. Yeah, there's. A, we could. We could uh, probably th think of a four or five tasks that mm -hmm. that would go into a supplemental fee for that. So the select board had mentioned forming another committee. Yeah. <laughs> Not us. That would be looking at some committee to us, though. I believe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, that's maybe. What it, that's maybe. how I heard it. Yeah, yeah, that's what and, I took it. It's yeah. Subcommittee to work with us. And yeah. Actually, I think it's a great idea if no, we absolutely. can actually find volunteers and to we'll, do yeah, that. Well, it's been out there, so we'll see who you know who comes forward. You yeah. know, if we can find developers, mm -hmm. um, investment people, anyone mm -hmm. that's interested in helping out. There's a couple new members from the this. historic commission who I think yeah. uh, would be a shoe in for this type of activity. Um, yes. People that, uh, you know, we've, we've got a couple of new members and they seem to be active and interested. So, you know, that, yeah. that would be important people to have on such a subcommittee. Yeah. And truthfully, I would prefer that's chaired by one of our members uh, just to keep everything together, you know. And Claire's not here and she's been tied up, but I can't think of someone better to handle that. Mm -hmm. I think we should, we should approach her with that. Um, she would be great, um, but you know I think if if they can come up with some solutions and we work with them a little bit, have a couple of work sessions, then you know they they go out, ask questions to developers, see what kind of uh, interest there is. Then, um, well, she's not here, so she's nominated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so she already right. started the ball. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> pending nomination. This makes sense. Sense. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. Let's see if she's interested and we'll vote yeah. on it if that's the case. So they said what, two weeks they meet again? CPA? Was that? Yeah, two weeks from last night. So do we expect to have an answer in two weeks or have we, we supposed, should, yes. Are we supposed to go back again or I don't know. Okay. I mean I was trying to get a, an answer from them if they wanted this thing split into two applications and I could, didn't get that well, really. They kinda of said we'll do it if we need to or something, right? I well, I can see they would want to separate the design fee for the construction yeah. costs. Yeah. But, you know, the, the amount of money to preserve that, uh, I mean, look how long we've had Village Hall for. You well, know, that was my <laughs> like, I, I kind of wish we had <laughs> fixed a couple of things just to preserve it for some potential buyer. But I think maybe, you know, I, I feel guilty because I think this committee had an opportunity to put together something, you know, an application for some CPA money to maybe get that done and you know maybe we missed that chance but we had already voted to sell it and we didn't screw that up mm -hmm. that was somebody else who messed that up but we had our opportunity so our opportunity with this project here to at least be responsible about the options that yeah. are available and, and you know going to CPA is a first step that's you know it is on the historic register it's, I'm, I'm really worried about North Hadley Hall because, and I've talked to a couple of select board members on it, um, we've actually got a lot of people that were interested in it, and um, some actually some pretty interesting ideas what to do with it, and it wasn't <laughs> just apartments, um, but all of them were kind of dead on arrival because there's no parking. Yeah. But that line now is... Five feet off the building. Three feet. Three off. feet off the building. It's getting closer. <laughs> no, when a Russell school poor. gets big and that property you, line gets closer. You couldn't even repair the foundations with a no. three-foot uh, setback. I don't know why. I mean, 
Yeah, okay, there might have been a line someplace. It doesn't mean that we couldn't have been moved. <laughs> and I, I just, and we weren't involved in any of this. I just, I, I think there's another missed opportunity that the town went forward running on the premise of getting that to the realtor and there wasn't communication and reviewing it enough. It would have been nice if it came back. Well, current zoning is what, 15 foot side yard? So, um, you know, if anybody else is splitting off their pieces of property, splitting it up, wouldn't you have, require them to have 15 foot side yard to the well, building? Well, I think what came out of it was that line was always there. Never added to the GIS, so anybody that looks at it on the mass GIS. thought it was under yeah. one property, yeah. but yeah. I think the line was long. person has the ability to put parking some other place, but it doesn't meet the bylaws because it's not on the property. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that all that has, and I wish it would be addressed. Maybe we should go to the select board and say, can we do something about this right now? I don't know. Now, isn't there a cutoff date on that North Valley Hall, like soon, that they just have to be in? Yeah. I heard the end of August. So it's kind of almost too late to try to change anything if, if they have a deadline. Well, let's see. Maybe let's see what if there's even a proposal. Yeah. And then maybe say let's figure out how it should be brought forward to be actually sellable. How many spaces could you get in where the where the fire trucks are? Maybe six. Yeah. Single loaded sort of uh, yeah. driveway with six spaces on it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there was discussion of, oh, you can go around the back side the other way. Actually, you can't. There's not enough room over there either. There, yeah. In that back corner. It grades down there too, isn't it? Hmm? It grades down. Yeah, and then it drops all the way down, but it's the property line really skews close to the back corner. Are the preservation restrictions in place for yes. the next owner? Mm -hmm. They are. I was just thinking if the historical uh, commission would consider demo of the garage piece. They've always you know, always said that the front bump out where the which, garage which is only six or eight feet yeah. depth, but that full section yeah. would enable uh, oh, someone oh, else yeah. to. You, you I mean, you know, if I were in the historic commission, and, and I'm not, and we're not, but I mean, to, to take that, that over losing the building, you, you'd get, you'd probably get another eight or ten spaces that way. It wouldn't solve everything, but it might be, might be feasible. So is that just up to have the historical? No. Any, I think we would have to have their okay and their blessing, but then, it can be always proposed. And that, okay, so let's say we ask them, and they say, okay, Go for it. Yeah. who's the next guy that says, okay, <laughs> before we can... So that is one option. The other option is, why can't we look at the field and say, can we move the line? We still own well, the part of the field. And, well, and what I are think we going to do with it? it? That's the other thing. And, and that may be... Um, a thing to do anyways, just so people can work on the building, you know, yeah. and have, give them at minimum the 15 feet yeah. so they can work on the building and it meets town bylaws mm -hmm. with a side yard dimension. But if also you've got permission to take down those two stalls where the fire trucks are, then you get quite a bit of parking, well, more. And so let's say this committee asked the um, uh, the historical commission, and they agree. And then who's next that says, "Okay, we sign off." It would be the select board. Just selecting after that. I think they yes. probably have to rewrite 
you'd, yeah. you'd have yeah, to issue an addendum. Yeah. 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 yeah, you'd have to do that, and you'd have to issue an addendum to the uh, to the RFP stating that that's a feasible you know, option. Right, mm -hmm. but as far as approval, so, you know, we, I don't know, I guess it seems like we agree that they would get more parking, make it more sellable, a little smaller building, but parking. Big building, no parking, doesn't do any good here either. Um, we'll get the historical commission and then see if the selectmen. So but, hopefully that some that will get some bids that say that yeah. they'll they'll go forward if the town. But if bids are all due at the end of the month, water's yeah. almost over the dam already. Yeah. So. But hopefully something will come in and say, you know, if the town. Yeah, does I mean, something you know, parking. Right. We just have to be careful, especially since we're on air, and we don't want to, you know get someone's hopes up that might be bidding the project when, when essentially all of what we discuss is out of our hands. Yes, yeah, it is. You know, historic it. commission could make a move. Zoning board could make a move, but all we can say is there's a pathway. That yeah, we're, really we're just happens. hoping to find a light at the end of the right. tunnel. Right. The other way to think about it is everybody right now is bidding on what's been presented with what's there. Right. Mm -hmm. So that's going to happen one way or the other. Yeah. Then they're going to probably have to go to the zoning board or planning board or both or whatever's going to end both. up here. Correct. So this is when we can start addressing that kind of stuff and <clears throat> go from there. Because we don't even know who's interested. So, or do they need the parking? I mean, I don't know. Yeah, they all call They all do, pretty they much? All do. Okay. But you know, let's see what happens. I think, we well, you know, I, I haven't seen the RFP, but, but what I would hope is that somehow it says that. Or something that the buyer has to sign that says, regardless of outcomes of future zoning board meetings and or historic commission meetings, I agree to buy this thing. Yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, Joel was was yeah. pleasant to us, and it, you know, was uh, he was really we we all were routing for him, but um, you know, in the end, it, it ended up being something he couldn't do because he couldn't get that. Well, the whole thing with the fire station going in there, put yeah, a yeah, it yeah, 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 I mean, that just uh, ruins it, right? All right. Well, okay. so uh, right. back to Russell School. We 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 recognize we need a subcommittee, um, the Russell School Committee, if you will, right? And we're going to see if Claire would be willing to be the the chair of that subcommittee to us, and then um, we should all. Talk to anybody we can think of that could lend some bright ideas into that um, conversation. Um, there was a lot of interesting conversations uh, last week on the select board about other things that could be done, and I know somebody had said something about replacing in kind. Um, so that would be part of this report, I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. If we did yes. this kind of report, there'd be a an option to demo it and an option to rebuild in kind or yeah. similar fashion. Obviously, you're not going to do a masonry load bearing wall, no. but no. you but do a... Take a, some of the architectural you details. You do a cladding. Right? Okay, yeah. mm -hmm. It wouldn't be an exact replica, no. right? Because that would no, be we could preservation. Do that. Uh, yeah. And programmatically, that wouldn't work either because we don't have a program that fits in there just for, yeah. unless we unless mm -hmm. town hall goes in. But that defeats what, the purpose. I mean, it, yeah. it, it sort of, if, if you want to save the building, you save the building. It doesn't yeah. make any sense to tear it down and build something just just to do it. Yeah. Because um, if we do replicate it with something, what are we going to use it for? I think we're really, I think with the future, um, we have the other building and this building. Ironically, we could build something new and it wouldn't pass zoning because right. it wouldn't have the parking requirements. Right. No, it wouldn't. <laughs> we have the field. So there's that. We yeah, but, to, well, yeah, we've got issues with wetlands there. Or, you know, it's enough compensatory like, storage. Yeah. So we don't raise the elevation. <laughs> I think it's only the part of that might be in. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much. So, Maybe it would be okay, because we do have a contiguous property there. We can, yeah. We could, it it could work. Yeah. It could, it could. The, the well, 20... What, if people, if we got enough space between town hall, Good one in the future. It's going to be hard to sell to spend twenty million dollars on keeping a building like that. So it would be either um, 
you know, a partnership with somebody, a long-term lease like Amherst is doing. Or, you know, people might just say, take the quad out because we're not going to keep it. Yeah. And I know a lot of people don't want to hear that. But those are the options what it's going to come yeah. down to. If, especially if you say, well, what are we going to do with it? Because it's pretty tough to go and get money out of people if nobody has, well, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but give me 20 million. Yeah. You know, good luck. No, 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 no. You know, yeah. it's a big, but I would be hesitant on, at this point now, probably going forward with any, what do you think questions for a fall meeting? Let's no, maybe it's, postpone it's too, that. We don't yeah, we, I, don't, I don't think we, that, we have the data we need answers. collected. Yeah. I think if we start to see that we have some options, yeah. And we, and we feel like strongly we could we could educate the public that right. that's the time. Yeah, that's, right. the that's the course of our next yeah. year is to figure that out. Yeah. I the you know I brought up at CPA some of the numbers from the old Mohawk study, and those numbers were uh, uh, strictly to do the stabilization of the building, nothing on the interior, just to stabilize the roof, the walls, the steps. Anything on the outside that you know, the gutters, water runoff, everything that needs to be taken care of to make sure that building will stand unused for another hundred years at least. And uh, those numbers add up to less than a million dollars, and that's 2013. So, yeah, you can estimate you could do the exact same thing in 2020 for like maybe a million and a half. And that's the real number for stabilization, and that's really what we should, in my opinion, I mean, I'm just a committee member, that's really what we should be going after, and not this astronomical, scare tactic, $22 million price tag, because that right. is for a usable, programmed building. Well, I'm not sure that's what I heard Tim say at the meeting, and I, maybe we ought to clarify that. But we have a number in there, and I'm not sure where you got $1 million if that's all the sort of core and shell uh, uh, improvements. Just shell yeah, stuff, you know. nothing to do with heating, nothing to do yeah, with Yeah, yeah, no, just exterior, keep it exterior, weatherproof. Keep it weatherproof for 100 years. That includes the painting, the portico repairs, the, the uh, uh, pointing, the slate roof, everything. For, and that, the program was from 2013 to 2020 was the final uh, uh, date on the million, or it, was, it came to 850,000. So Dave has the numbers, and I put, I took that stuff out, and it comes out to 1.4 to 1.5 million. Yeah, that's I. So it's, that's, it's, yeah, yeah. And that's just again stabilizing exterior shell, yeah, yeah. yeah. getting it. So and no, and no, there's no seismic uh, or no, reinforcing right. anything in the new exoskeleton. Right. right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's stood for a hundred years the way it is. It mm -hmm. should stand for another hundred years. You know, a hundred years only if we still maintain. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah with, with ongoing maintenance, right. but but yeah, yeah. Um, but that sounds that sounds cheap to me. I mean, you know, well, we're talking twenty two million, and I wasn't even sure that's what you said was was the money would cost to repurpose it. I, no, it's what, I, what I thought I heard you say in the town. So it's twenty two million to repurpose the building. So if we said we're going to put town hall over there. Right, that's we're going to move everybody from this building to that building, or we're going to put some other department in there. And twenty-two million dollars, twenty-two all million. day okay. long. Yep. That's what yeah, I, I mean that sounds that sounds right to me. I mean, I think Joyce kind of hung that number on me last week and said, "Oh, David does so." You know, I'm like, I have not seen <laughs> this or any any backup to uh, uh, to clarify that. To Dan's point, he's talking about repointing, fixing the slate roof, stabilizing the porch, not rebuilding them. But still, that's only a million dollars. So where is the other twenty million dollars that we have? The elevators. Yeah. Well, an elevator is going to be what? Two hundred thousand. It's the uh, addition on the. It's uh, going to be a million, but uh, what? Yeah, it's still. Oh, yeah. Heating yeah. System, new yeah. heating uh, systems, no. new electrical, everything redone on the inside. Bring yeah. in, You know, you got push well, pipes. Right. I'd like to see all these line items spelled out. Yeah, what and exactly and that is. That is because something that's a bunch of numbers to me. This was this was directly taken. Taken from the, the uh, DRA, which I mean, if you look at you look at these numbers, they're the exact numbers, and then they mimic the DRA. Yeah, report. and it, and they have it, there's they're more clarity. They're just for 2020 or yeah, and some it, other there's future. more. All these have, you know, there's there's a correlation to what that represents. We can clean that up a lot more. Yeah. Well, so that is an option, right? It's just to yes. say we're gonna we're that gonna stabilize the, the core. That's what the option is called. So, or the shell, stabilize the shell. So, 
for a million, four, whatever it is, we put something into it, we maintain it regularly, but we don't touch it for use, and it just it prolongs its life for next generation. Right, the next generation, this, right. is a, this is a really, you know, this generation has, has done the, all the town buildings some abuse, and that's why we were called into order, is to try to straighten that out. And we're, you, know, you do the best you can, but you still got a bunch of, you know, of farmers that don't want to spend that money. They worked hard for all that money all these years, and they just don't want to give it to some building that they don't know that their kids are ever going to use. And I got to respect that. You know, we have to do it justice so that they have an option. They, they, if we put a million four into it, maybe they can sell it for three million in a few years. But they're not going to have anything if they don't put anything into it. Mm -hmm. Is that one point four million? Keeping the uh, west side from sliding down the hill. I think it's just taking it down. That's yeah. The I don't know that porch. The, yeah. Uh, that, that's the well, porch. Is, what is the possibility of putting up some sort of a retaining structure that's going to keep that from sliding down? Building up we that need side. To do that. I mean, that's a simple fix, and yeah. that's not going to cost a million dollars to do. So yeah. because that's what it we is, could be looking at. even from the last four years, it has really gone. Yeah. The old Mohawk study said that the, that was that was one of the projects that was earmarked was the West Portico specifically right. because of the water that comes through the roof and into that portico and sits and it's pulling that it's water that's taking yeah. that thing down. It's hill. washing all the fines out below. So and just if you down. were to put the roof on that section and seal off all that you know mortar and grout and and chinking and whatever you need to do to keep water from getting in there and pushing it down. I mean, yeah, rebuild the this, gutters, you know, get the water point, away from it. It needs, a, like Dave said, it needs a retaining wall. To or something, yeah. Well, that, that again, yes, yeah, so the retaining walls were part of that program. Yeah, it, it's the only way to stabilize yeah. that hill. Yeah. Well, you could do some soil improvements, too, probably. Well, that comes with a retaining wall. Well, you, you, you don't have much room, room there. Would, would be able to do some kind of injections or something like that. He yeah. could tell you that yeah. you know, there's ways to do that, but... We'd have to study it, but that that's potentially above the one four. That's another project that we might recommend for state. I kind of I kind of think if you're going to do the one four, you should include the, the uh, retaining wall to stabilize because if you take that yeah. portable down and then it doesn't look like the rest of school. It's like a piece of junk already. You know, you're already taking things off. Right. Yeah. And I, you're, yeah. We're not going to replace it. Anybody that. Repurposes that building. Mm -hmm. There has to be an accessible entrance. There has to be. That's yeah. the only place it's going to go is on the west side. Okay, the, I, that's yeah, the I, only I way that. to get in that but, building. But if we're just, if we're stabilizing it to sell in three years, okay. So you take it down because somebody's going to have to put. But if we're stabilizing it to save for someday, and it's going to sit, and we're going to maintain it. I hate to lose it. Uh, okay. I mean, we don't know what it's we strange know, to say. We don't know the technologies that might be employed to mm -hmm. no. to change, you know, to do for vertical circulation in lieu of ramps or mm -hmm. elevators or high. You know, I have no idea. But it, I think it's um, it would be best to preserve it as much as we can intact, and then for someone to make a decision whether it can be used or not later. But but anyway, we can talk about all that. But that is really an option and the fact that that's not a 22 million dollar option is appealing already i was surprised that that you know I, again i think maybe we dropped the ball it was a 2013 study and this committee was formed shortly thereafter so we probably should have taken and run with those numbers while we had them and instead we you know we did there was other projects that came up North Hadley Hall was distracting. The library threw Don't the forget, there was a there was well, a tenant in there, there still too. There was a whirlwind. <laughs> there was a whole whirlwind of stuff. So I can understand how we got distracted. But <laughs> if that money was spent, um, this is the year that that West Portico was supposed to be dealt with. Mm -hmm. uh, or was it 2015? I you know the old Mohawk spells it out, and it yeah, you know, we, we that's a 14. Yeah, and that's a com that's a company that. Uh, you know, specializes in this stuff. And if you go to their website, it's, you know, they're real people. And it, they really take they're to heart. Yeah, it's, it's a great so in our $10,000 study, would this be one of the options that we would be looking That certainly could be. Yes, yeah. I think we agree yeah. with that. And rather than throwing that big, scary 
scare tactic number out there. And a lot of people like to use that as, as ammunition for their agenda. Already heard it. You know, it's, well, it's, I think it, the numbers out there, it, it should be it's an honest to, number told to people. Yeah. But these are the other options. Right. Yeah. You know, we, we don't have to keep throwing it at them, but this is where we, nobody really likes that number. And uh, so why not? Maybe we can do this, this, or this. Yeah. But I think we probably can go with four or five scenarios. Yeah. From demo to partnerships to stabilizing it to full use. I, the, the, you look at it and you, you spend how much money, how many millions of dollars on these two new buildings, and they're nowhere near the quality of this Russell School. Mm -hmm. And to put a million and a half into a building that's, you know, even if it does get hit by some kind of natural disaster, chances are it's going to still be in better shape than... <clears throat> Well, yeah, and it worries me when, when, when there's, there's parallels drawn to the construction types that mm -hmm. we're, we're putting up here and what potentially would go on that corner because I think the historic nature of that building and the, and the presence of that corner would demand better construction, maybe even a more vertical building to keep that presence there. And we're not going to build that for 300 bucks a square foot, no. whatever the number is we ended up with in the other buildings, we're going to spend a lot more. So I think when, when we do write that next scenario for that, we, we, we're careful about sell, not selling it cheap, you know, mm -hmm. buying cheap square footage for the corner of you know, our town. Well, the only thing now is even the billion dollars is going to probably seem like a lot to people. So yeah, we may have to postpone even thinking about that until we come up with some scenarios here. Because if people know that well, at least this, what, this is what we're planning. We should be able to use CPA oh, absolutely. for that. Yeah. We're talking, yeah. I mean, well, they got two reservations. Yeah, yeah. yeah. and get a grant. Yeah. Like CPA and, and get a match. Okay. So, I mean, though, that, so what costs the taxpayers money? And I think mm -hmm. that's where we need to start focusing. Okay. Yeah. I mean, How can we do that? Do what we need to do to save the building in whatever way, but not figure out where we can get it. And we need we need the historical committee's help to look at things. I think with bringing Larry on board, it's going to definitely give us a, a way of reaching out. We need that. Well, it seemed like with, the, we'll call it the forming of Claire's committee, so you know, mm -hmm. you're not a leader. Um, Jeremy Claire. Yeah, Chairman Claire. Um, and the historical commission seemed like they're at least willing to talk about it. Yes. And uh, if there's, I guess Claire found that there is some grants by her email, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. that it was so sounded like design. If, if she has a little design. bit here, yeah. have the historical, maybe can find some somewhere through other state agencies or federal, uh, do the legwork looking for that, get CPA money. You know, it almost comes out to be, um, Free ride. Mm -hmm. yeah, I don't really believe it'll be a free ride, yeah. but you know. Let's see what we can do. I think we can certainly ease the burden on CPA yeah. with some grant money and maybe uh, you know friends of Russell School fundraiser, or whatever you know the historic can can conjure up. Uh, but after last night, I'm very discouraged yeah. because we went in for just ten thousand dollars, which really was eight thousand of their money, and they. There was a huge well, argument. And this is best use for the this. The argument no. wasn't from the whole committee. Yeah. It was an individual. Well, we have to wait and to get that. But that's... But that's what we'll be fighting. Even mm -hmm. with the CPA funding on the floor, it's going to be, okay, but what are we doing with the building? Even, you know, yeah. we have to have a well, purpose. We're for saving it. it. Because without <laughs> that, people yeah. want to take it down. So... I so, it, like I said, it's it's going to be a fight. If you know if people want to save it, it's going to be a fight. If people yeah. want to take it down, it's going to be a fight. No, yeah, it'll be split. It's, it is right. Whatever shows up. Well, you, you saw what happened at last town meeting with the North Abbey baseball field. You know, it looked like to me, in my mind, it was going to be clear sailing that they're going to get rid of the deed restriction, mm -hmm. and the whole thing was going to be sold. You have a big parking area and green space to hold it, and. People got up and spoke, and everybody's, for a majority of the mindset changed, and mm -hmm. 
Yeah. And now you got a, a lot line three feet away from the building, and we're still talking about it. Yeah. So you, you just don't know. And what? And, and we got a field, and what are you going to do with it? It's another burden for DPW to maintain. Yeah. And what are we going to do with it, other than mow it? Yeah. I mean, that's what's so discouraging. Maybe we should do a public-private partnership with, with that built that property, yeah. too. We well, could, uh, I think we almost had honestly, that with we Joel. Could, well, because Joel yeah. said he would... Who, who, who can use an open space pr parcel in North Hadley right now as, as a longer-term lease for it to be maintained and still be a town parcel that could be used for town purposes but also could be used for other things on some days? Mm -hmm. Right? I'm just saying. I mean, you know, there's ways to there's ways to be smart about how that parcel yes, is used. Exactly. Well, that's hard because to say. you got a church there, and you got a building there, and hopefully that it all can come be combined to so, uh, to go to use. I wouldn't that sell it, but I, I think no. there's I think there's smart ways well, to think about yes. a lease for that that parcel. A partnership. But Joel said that. He was willing to have it for everybody, yeah. and uh, you know, I mean, there's there's other people out there that probably be willing to do something, or like you said, we own it, but let some ALs maintain it, keep it keep it clean, let it also be for town use when yeah, get enough you know, parking for the yeah. church and whatever they use it for, and and then have a nice garden or community whatever. I hope that can happen. Yeah. So, uh, okay. So You're up there, so push yeah. that there, buddy. <laughs> your community. <laughs> That's your committee. <laughs> You're up the street. <laughs> Closer than I am. Yeah. Okay, so I think Russell School's kind of, I think we, we have some, a few things. I'd be very interested in hearing what Claire's got um, mm -hmm. in, in line, so. I've been asked to attend the Historic Commission meeting next, so I think it's on the 27th, I write that, I'm not sure. Um, so yeah, that's so I'll thing. do that and I, you know, I can report back to them what happened at this meeting if they don't catch it on the... Uh, yeah, I think ask them whether the preservation restrictions would, you know, I mean, see it's only there. Their thing is, that, you know, they realize preservation restrictions only go into effect if the building is sold. So they really, they're not interested in that, in that with this building unless that's going to happen. I meant, I meant North Hadley. Oh, North Hadley Hall, yeah. I can ask them about, you know, maybe, you know, issuing an addendum to that so that people can, can use it as, uh, as parking in that area. I hate to lose any of it, but if it's, uh, if it's uh, for the good of the keeping something, uh, yeah, maybe it's something they would consider. Yeah, and I, you know, I, apparently, garages aren't considered parking, so. <laughs> right, you just open, leave the doors open, right? <laughs> it's a portico. It's a portico shade. Uh, all right, so what's going on with the Russell School parking lot proposal? I know um, it, it sounds like everybody's in favor of Going, going forward, with moving, moving forward. Right. So, so I can, we were at the funding. Yeah, we were at the select board meeting. I said, "You guys have to vote on getting the money together." And they looked at David and said, "Can't come up with getting the money." Yeah, I didn't get an answer. I didn't hear an answer. And, and I hopefully we'll have an answer at their next meeting. Right. Okay. And if there's money available, which there well, is. A, Apparently, there's a fair amount of free cash. He just has to go through the numbers. If if they have it, they want it to go forward with it. And then we hand it over to Chris, uh, DPW director, and he he said he would run with it and get together with the power yeah. with the contractors and come up with a price. Um, right. So I guess what I was the only comment I was going to make after watching that meeting was that if in fact they don't have the money for the design and that has to go to fall town meeting maybe we should be smart and include a, a, a warrant article that includes the full construction plus the design like the senior center did when they went after their money yeah, so the last guesstimate on the construction cost was like 280 yeah that seems a little bit low to me but uh, 
but I think now it is low because what the prices everybody's getting, and we're probably up to 320, 350. Yeah. yeah. Well, Berkshire Design would give you a good estimate. It's just that mm -hmm. if we can't fund their their work, then how can they give us the estimate? That's you know? the problem. Right you'd have to just ask them to give them a ballpark, and I could do the same for my civil engineers. But what wasn't the yeah. uh, David Nixon was supposed to see how much free cash there was to do yes. the same? That's what it's to design it. But for design, yeah. Only for design? Only for design, yes. not for construction. Okay. Mm -hmm. There's no money in place for construction. Okay. So the construction would have to go through town meeting? Yes. So the scenario yes. was to, to get, to vote the money in now for design, have Berkshire get the design done and then sometime early winter give it to Chris to go out for, for um, some quotes so we'd be lined up ready for springtime to, to get the money voted in. And spring we, town meeting. At town meeting. Could you, could you put out a, a contract if you don't have the money in place to build it? I'm, I'm not sure. I think you you can get things ready and sign the contract after it's voted in. Yeah. You have everything mm -hmm. ready to go. So we can do it in springtime. You have it ready for the summer. So that was the scenario on it. So it was 16000 okay. for the design. And, you know, I, they asked me what what the price was, I believe when we talked about it, it was like 280. But I'm talking to the other guys um, on some of these projects, and they said it's a lot higher now. The, the asphalt is really shot up. Well, so, there's dreams design. Uh, yeah, we're into the MS4 issues. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we can be more. Well, so waiting on select board for an okay to find the work and approve. Right, and they're waiting to get free cash certified. And if we if we end up having to ask a town meeting for that money, we should see if there's a way to, to put the full Monty in right now and get get a, allocated for construction costs as well. And just put it all in at once. I mean, it, we could, you know, we could put a placeholder in there that we think is the right number, hoping not to have to go back again. We always seem to. And I think most people understand why we yeah. always go back. Oh, I know. But it takes so long to get this stuff through. But if we got the money and then it yeah. turned out that we, uh, you know, we put the job out for bid, it came in higher than we could be asking for the money in the spring if we had to. Yes. We wouldn't have to. Yeah. Right. So. Okay. Um, so that's where that is. Quick review of all municipal buildings, uh, public safety complex regarding HVAC, town hall regarding painting. Anything on that with Larry? I keep, I, I bug him all the time. The what, what has held all that up? We got into this whole problem with, uh, you know, it's a historical building. So the, those flutes, right. And how to repair that wood really got problematic. So he did a lot of studying on how that's been done in other towns. Yep. And it's not straightforward apparently how to rebuild that. And he's very he's very worried that when we start taking the paint off, because some of those are opened up, what are we gonna find for wood? And what happens if, if all some of it has to be replaced? To build those things is extremely difficult, and to repair them is even worse. How they're put together. Yeah. I suppose doing nothing is even far worse. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah. Boy, so, it's like a million dollar school project. Yeah. So what he's doing, I mean, he's been back and forth rewriting the spec. I said, we need it. We've got to go out now because we're running out of time. So I bug him. I think we should call him 
this old house we can do it on the second <laughs> yeah. yeah. can, yeah, he's got that. every machine in the world he can show you how to yeah. get those yeah. Yeah. yeah so i i must bug them two or three times a week on it and we need it now we needed it a month ago at the latest and now here we are we don't want to find another new project consultant <laughs> they already went through this once already right no, but he's, I think, he, I told him he's being too meticulous right now. He's trying to redefine stuff too, too much. He's all worried about what we're going to find when we pull the paint off. But Well, we've got to build some contingencies in, yeah. in there for that. But, yeah, but you know, get, get removed and take him to a shop I will, I need to call him again tomorrow and say, your deadline is next. Right now, I think we right. we should get this project out. I mean, this we is, have this to get be, it out. I don't want to say this should be easy, but yeah, you know, yeah. Let's, it let's, get, have been. let's get one accomplished. Yeah. We know. need we need it. We can't. Or they're going to pull the funding from us. Yeah, the rest, we the rest of the, the building needs small. paint. You know, never mind just the columns. The rest of the building's starting to really need it. But on the other hand, the uh, public safety uh, complex with the HVAC is gone very well yeah. because we've uh, with Gary going up there we all went up there together and actually went to the front of the building together up in the attic on one of the hottest days unfortunately but we all and with the contract we all put our heads together and came up with a better scenario based on Gary's suggestion and everybody said that's a great idea good you mean you just Basically taking the costs and, and, and reducing it considerably. And they basically, between Larry and the contractor, the HVAC guys, it's the efficiency is going to be much better. It's actually starting tomorrow, I think, the work. They're going to open, Good. open it up, and, um, and it's not going to take that many days to get it all done. So probably by sometime next week it'll be, be done. Okay. As long as they can test the AC before the season is out. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, they are. I mean, the yeah. problem, what the the issue is that because it gets so hot, um, it condensates so much on the um, uh, on the air handler that they, they have. Everybody has to go in there, and everybody has their time of day, then they have to go in there. And dump the buckets. <laughs> Everybody, and they've been good about it. So, because if it, they don't dump the buckets, they overflow and oh, yeah. it ruins the ceiling oh, below. Yeah. And what's below that is the electric room, and it almost took out all of um, dispatch when no. it started overflowing. So, I mean, they're all good, they all know the problem. But it's been constant. And we get that air moving, it's going to be so much more efficient and uh, cooler upstairs. Good. Well, that's yeah. a success story. That's mm -hmm. so we do have a good success story. Yeah. Um, I don't have anything else on the list tonight. Is there anything you guys can think of? Um, is, is, um is Chris asking for anything over at DPW? Does their property need anything up there? Should we get? I, I really think that we need to sit Chris down and talk to him some more about those trails. They're really bad, they, especially with all the heat and air, the issues. I think maybe we need to bring them in and say. What about the gable ends on that garage? Nothing ever got done with that, right? No, we. Uh, there was no. Uh, it's only because the. The new contractor that we have for that has been doing our work. So he's supposed to be doing it sometime this fall. And it's only one end. One, one end? One end. Even one end is better than no one. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I I don't know what was decided, but when we walked through there, we kind of joked we should do the uh, east end so the bad end shows. So we, That's what we all say. And I kind of agree with that, too. <laughs> Because is, uh, is, yeah, it will never get fixed because that's right. You know, <laughs> is the timing right to have him in? 
Yeah. We need um, to bring them in. Yeah, I think okay. it would be good. Yeah. Invite them in. Yeah. I'd like to do one more meeting, focus with Claire and you know the the uh, Russell School. Just move that subcommittee forward. Mm -hmm. and focus on that, not to put him off too long, but I think it'd be, it'd be prudent to do that first and then have have the call. So. So is that a subcommittee that is ultimately appointed by select board and they need to have members apply for the? Well, I think they kind of said, you put know. Put it out there. Anybody uh, interested? Yeah. Come contact us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It would be appointed by, probably appointed by the select board, but it, it sounded like reporting up through us as, as the committee. Um, so that's why I, I'm recommending we, we maintain the chairmanship of it so that we would collaborate a little more than some of the other subcommittees. And, even having planned work sessions where we go have both committees together and we spend a, a couple hours on some concepts and things like that. Mm -hmm. you know, even work groups with, you know, open workshops with the community if they wanted to. It's all up to what they think of, but yeah, I think that they could come to us or to the select board, either one, but we're just looking for people that, that are interested. Somebody with the energy and desire to take this forward because in the passion to yeah, you know, have the passion see it through to somehow. It. Yeah. Well, I can. I'll. I will go to the historic commission meeting on the twenty seventh, and I will make sure that they get that information as well. It'd be really nice to have them engaged. Yeah, that. it'd be nice and to get one of their members at least yeah. one of their mm -hmm. members on that committee. It just doesn't make any sense that they wouldn't be. But yeah. As all of this made so far. Okay, so hearing no other business, do I have a motion to adjourn? Motion to adjourn. Second. Those in favor? Aye. 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 Not opposed, we're adjourned. Uh, next meeting can we do in two weeks? Is that a no, library's no. meeting on the 9th of September? Let's see. That's historic. Historic meeting on the 27th, that's two weeks from today. Um, is, is Gary still with us or no? Yeah, he is. So if he comes, you still, and Claire, if I go to Historic, you should still have quorum. Yeah. And they meet here, right? So, Did they meet here? I think so, okay. Looks like they were over it. <laughs> The school. The worker school, yeah. School, they, but they, they definitely aren't there anymore, so. No, I think they've been meeting here. Okay. All right. So it wouldn't be far to travel. Right. Okay. 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 Talk with them first. And so what day? March uh, 27th. 27th. Yeah. It's a busy day for me. 27th is uh, Tuesday. 27th. I guess. Oh, Sorry, I'm Someone's going to have to post that. I am. I am. It. You're gonna be away. Yeah, I'm gonna be away. Yeah. I'll be coming back. It. I'm leaving Thursday. Just post it with. We uh, post it with these things. Is it just Yeah. Okay. And we have to um, go to Jennifer to um, for the room. Okay. I can probably. And if I forget, I'll call you. <laughs> <laughs> Halfway to your vacation. Why are you having a song that you forgot? <laughs> Before I'm born the boat. Dude. <laughs> yeah, well, if, you, if it slips, don't worry about it. I'll, I'll take a look. Mm -hmm. Good. It's hot in here. Yeah, there's no real. I guess it's off in my house. Out of my room. Oh, oh. Recycle that horse.